Hey guys, Eric here with a new and un, um, yeah, unbefore, that's not a word. Anyways, <clears throat> a new unboxing, and that is the awesome Weta Collector Box, which, um, full disclosure, I did already open the box while at work and tried to record even, and my boss Marie interrupted me, so I deleted that and, uh, decided I'd redo one. But anyways, like I said, awesome box with a very awesome contest attached to it where you take a picture in the awesome shirt that they give you as well as a couple of the other awesome items whatever you want to use from the box do something very creative you upload that picture to their website and you get the chance to meet um meet sir richard taylor and his awesome wife um who are the co-founders of weta and you get to meet them and have lunch with them in new zealand you get four days in new zealand which is awesome so anyways without further ado let us crack right into the weta collector box which i love this box for obvious reasons weta's all over the place for those that don't know what a weta is it is the giant cool grass up and grasshopper looking bug in New Zealand that uh that people actually pretty much keep as pets anyways the very top of the box it says make imaginary worlds a reality which is awesome definitely keeping this box it's a very cool box this is the stupid consignment note I say stupid because it took an extra day to get here but that's a story for another time <laughs> This tells you a little bit about the contest. It is a fake airplane ticket, but it says, Use your gear to get you here. Want to hang out in our neighborhood? Get creative with your cool stuff? Snap a photo with your wedding collector gear, upload it to our contest page, and be in to win a trip for two to Wellington, New Zealand, including four nights accommodation and lunch with Weta Workshop co-founders Richard Taylor and Tanya Roger. Uh, the most creative, original, and overall Awesome photo will win as judged by the Weta Workshop crew. Contest closes midnight, October 31st, New Zealand time, which is past uh, American uh, Halloween. So keep that in mind. Uh, I will put the link in the description below for you guys to go order your own Weta Collector box if you're interested. We have the updated Weta Workshop um, slash shop catalog, which is uh, full of awesome new things. Like this mini epics um figure check out i'm gonna zoom in on gimli i'm gonna order gimli in my own because look at how cool that is though uh berserker and uh the orc are definitely highlights as well as Go Gollum and uh frodo are all fantastic some really cool stuff in the catalog they'll look at that much later anyways we will start with a warcraft item and that is this very awesome lanyard slash badge. The badge is Warcraft based on the movie. And the game, it comes with this little uh, keychain attacher. As well as, I'm not sure if that can be, as well as the crest for Warcraft, Warcraft's hero. Alright, where should we go next? Everybody knows what this badge is, so don't need to tell you. <laughs> this is actually gonna go right next to all um, my awesome, uh, my awesome uh, Jason McKittrick uh, magnets on my filing cabinet because it's a really cool magnet. Not even weighted too. Like this is this is super light. I wonder what it's made of. Probably plastic. Uh, let's see. Where are we going next? All right. We have a Weta Workshop pencil, pre-sharpened, nice, okay. We have a couple pins, sadly we have one that I already own because I got it when I was in uh, New Zealand with Fan Moguls, um, which you guys will see some point down the line, hopefully very soon. Uh, but, like I said, I got this was part of the start of my pin collecting. And for those that don't know, it's obviously... Uh, oh, there we go. Smog from uh, The Hobbit. Voiced by Benedict Cumberbatch himself. And, um, like I said, I have this pin. Um, pretty sure I know a couple of people who'd be interested in this. Like my buddy, uh, 
my buddy uh, Johnny Tez. So, uh, Johnny, you want this pin? Let me know. You can do a trade or something. You know, but let me know. Um, then we have this awesome, heavy, beautiful Warcraft um, symbol pin. Which, of course, is through, um, through Legendary. Surprisingly... Yeah, surprisingly, no, no Blizzard logos anywhere. It does say Blizzard Entertainment on the back, though. But like I said, there's really no, it's just major, um, what am I trying to say? Major Blizzard absence, which is surprising. I would at least hope to see, like, the Blizzard logo on the back of the pin. They have really cool pins in the Letter Workshop. So, one of these days, I'd love to get more of them. Um, a Warcraft. Um, badge. I mean, not badge. Um, patch. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. Warcraft patch. We will get to this awesome statue last. I want to show you the inside of this, too. I'm going to show you the t-shirt in a sec. We have... Ghosts in a Shell... Neck port cyber enhancement temporary tattoos. Looks really cool. I'll show you the back in a sec. I'm trying to prevent the glare. That is really cool. Okay, actually, so I'm going to show you the inside of the box real fast because the inside of the box is awesome. Props, costume, design, paint, sculpting, metalwork. Is awesome. I wonder if the metalwork department is specifically um, Peter Lyon and uh, the people who work around and through Peter Lyon because he's awesome. If you don't know who Peter Lyon is, then you're not a huge Lord of the Rings fan. <laughs> but um, he's a swordsmith and he's awesome. You have to got, had the pleasure of meeting him and he's beyond cool. Um, but yes, anyways, oh. Show you the t-shirt. And this is also Warcraft themed. I really like the, uh, this is the back of the t-shirt. It says Warcraft, but I really like the front of this. The, like, tribal necklace. That is so cool. I really like that a lot. I have some ideas for my picture, but I'm not going to reveal them here. Just that I might use an item or two, um, to do some, uh, some foreground and um, background stuff. Might some uh, force, yeah. Some perspective, um, perspective uh, playing around with force perspective. Anyways, <laughs> this is uh, from the Hobbit, and it says pre-release on it, which is awesome. It's Bombor, the Dwarf Barrel Rider, and uh, I will just open this up and show them real fast to you guys. really detailed. Sculptor is Steven Saunders, whose name I do recognize, and he has a cool little, um, scalped on the, yeah, cool little etching of his name on the bottom. It's really cool. But, let me just try to get him in close here. The detail on him is insane. That is awesome. Um, I wonder if that's... Hmm. That must be from Customs. <laughs> it says QC Past. Okay. So yes, that is the Weta Collector box. So if you guys are interested, like I said, I'll leave the link down below. I know I will be doing the contest as well many others. 
and that is a great first box. I'll be curious to see if they keep going with these boxes because I'd like to see some more property stuff. I would love to see, um, I know it probably will never happen, but I really wish they would release their, uh, their replicas from when they made the uh, web shooter in Amazing Spider-Man and Amazing Spider-Man 2 because that thing is gorgeous. I would love a replica just to like be like, anyway. It's one of the many projects what has worked on. Maybe some more Lord of the Rings stuff. Um, very Warcraft heavy, which is not necessarily a bad thing, especially if you're a huge Warcraft fan. Whether or not that first movie lived up to the hype is completely argumentative to the overall process and awesome stuff that was involved. Anyways, I'm blathering, so that was the first Weta Collector box. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one, and definitely leave a like subscribe comment down below like i said i'm sure i'll hear from some of my friends who might want the uh smog pen and that is it thanks as always for watching guys i'll catch you later